All right, welcome back to another episode of uh, Out of Alignment. I actually remember the title this time. Uh, C2, Campaign 2, Episode 4, Their Journey in Undermountain Continues. Last we uh, played, they found a room with a map, a strangely weird kind of dead dude, uh, a secret uh, wall, secret door, which led into a tunnel, which led into another secret door, which led into this uh, little area that they're in right now, where they thought they found the exit, only to have it denied to them by the Mad Mage. Mm -hmm. um, they then found a statue that had a circlet hidden inside of it, which they have no idea what it does. They found some bugbears, Thought they were going to sneak up on the bugbears. The bugbears instead snuck up on them. And we lost Odin. No, he was a good boy. Yep. He was such a good boy. Uh, this triggered some things to start happening within truth. Uh, he became very vengeful. And basically ran forward and exploded a bunch of goblins in haste. <laughs> um... The party was going to continue forward when they found some giant two-headed figures stomping about in a further room and decided to retreat and use their instant fortress, which I have now built here, um, to get some night's rest. In the middle of the night, Truth was haunted by strange dreams. And when he awoke, he found that he no longer had his halberd, but instead a long, wicked red scythe. And that's where we're picking up, right in the middle of the night. What would you like to do, Truth? Uh, I believe I ended last stream by waking up in a cold sweat from the dream and attempting to summon my halberd and instead summoned a scythe. Yep. Very, uh, the scythe has very arcane designs. Uh, instead of the stand, uh, standard blunt butt in, uh, blunt end, uh, it has a kind of uh, triangular figure with spikes out of it. The curve of the scythe uh, is almost serrated, and it has a very red design and very dull red glow emanates from it. Well, that's new. Uh, huh. Uh, who, uh, I can't rem remember, who was on watch? I think it was... Uh, I think it was me, and then his dream yeah. happened during. Yeah. Yeah. Um, to... yeah, so... Yeah, considering you're kind of more watching out, and you're probably on the second floor, second or, uh, top floor watching, keeping watch since the windows, the murder slits are only on the second floor, and then the top floor is the roof. Um... Oh, oh dang. Yeah, so you actually probably wouldn't notice this at all. Okay. Hmm. I was trying to think logically about it for a second there. I, uh... I dismiss the scythe and, uh... pull out my uh, little, little black book and my journal. And, uh... I transcribe what's in the black book into the journal. You open... To the the most recent page where it should yep. be. Mm -hmm. It's not. Oh, that is also new. Um. Instead, just the words. Ends are but beginnings. Um. Shit. Uh. uh... Um, all right, I close the black book and put it away, and in the journal, I write the date and ends are but beginnings, and I, then underneath it, I try to remember the dream as best as possible. Okay, uh, roll me, uh, just a straight check. All right. No stat. Oh, hey. Yeah, you're able to recall pretty much every detail of that dream. Nice. Alright, I write it down, and I don't know how long that takes me, but 
Eh, maybe about a half hour. Okay. I tuck it away afterwards and uh, kind of wander, wander upstairs. Okay. Um, do you wander all the way up to where Brock is? Yeah. Okay. Does he have the scythe out? No, no, I just, okay. just missed it. Oh, I just <laughs> missed it, yeah. It's kind of a terrifying thing to see in the dark. <laughs> hey, uh, everything quiet up here? Uh, yeah, why? Is something something not down there? Uh, nah, everything's fine. It's quiet. Okay. Just having a little trouble sleeping. Is hmm. uh, everything okay? Uh, well, I'm, you know... Uh, dog died, you know. Oh, yeah. Um. So, that thing over there, uh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're, uh, you're real good at this, uh. Social right. skill. Yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> are, are you coming up because you want to, to watch, or are you just coming up to join me? I'm just coming up to join you. I just want to... I'll hang out till the end of your, uh, end of your shift. Okay. Uh, and uh, while while I'm there, I'm going to treat it as a short rest. And not really okay. do anything. Okay. And I, I will be storing a spell into my... Uh, where, where do I have it? I have my ring of spell storing. So, I'm gonna store. Uh, I'm gonna store hold person. Okay. All right. Um, and I don't know if Brock wants to talk anymore. Uh, so really quick, when casting is a or something is a ritual, you still have to have all the components, right? Correct. Okay. Yeah, I totally do not have a pearl worth a hundred gold. So. Oh. Because they can't identify stuff. Yeah, because you do have that circlet that you found. Yes, last that's, that's what I was gonna do, but I realized it has a, a gold value attributed to it, so I can't just use my focus. So I can't identify anything yet. So you uh, you uh, you ever like do anything like weird while you're on watch? You know, while everybody else is asleep, you just kind of. I weird how. I don't know. I'm afraid we're, to ask, but... we're on top of a tower. You ever like spit out the the uh, little little uh, murder hole? See how far up you are and how long it takes to hit the ground. You count the seconds here. I don't know. You cast spells. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you don't, you I, don't have I, spells, I, do you? Uh, I mean, yes and no. I, I mostly just kind of tinker around with my little things. I guess the little contraptions. Yeah. You ever do anything fun with them? I'm not quite sure what you're getting at. You know, make like something, pull a prank or something. I don't. Oh, oh, okay, got it. Uh, yeah, I'm not. No, talking. Not where did really. your mind go? I don't know. You're anyway. So I definitely there. There is one little like little. Uh, oh, what would it be called? Not infusion. A little, like a little box kind of thing I can make. I haven't really come up with a name for it. I really need to. Yeah. But. It can like have pre-recorded messages and stuff on it. Oh. Or it can like put out odors or visual effects. What 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 kind of odors? I mean, it, whatever you really want to, I guess. I'm thinking I'm thinking stink bomb. I mean, if you if you really want to go that route, I guess, yeah. Yeah. Are you wanting to go that route? I mean, you're building it. It's up to you. Do, do you need a pick me up this night? I kind of, yeah, I kind of do. Okay, well that's fine. So <laughs> <laughs> I get the feeling they're not gonna like me tomorrow, but hey, most things can't hurt me inside of this suit, so I should be okay. Uh. Wait, does it like is it like a normal odor, or does it like go away as soon as you like turn off the box? As uh, soon as you enchant the the object, it starts emitting, and it doesn't stop until you stop the device. Turn it off. 
Yeah, so it kind of <laughs> goes until I tell it not to. Okay, so you can turn it off is what I'm asking. Yes, and here's a little fun thing about it. Um, I, I don't, I don't want to gas this out of our own tower is what I'm, what I'm getting at here. Oh, okay. Well, if you wanted to say drop a stink bomb down the trap door and close the door, um, I can make up to four of them. So... Oh. And plant them around if you wanted to. Put it in someone's bag and make them really confused as to what's smelling all the time. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I, I was I was thinking to just point. That that is brilliant. You are a, <laughs> you are a criminal mastermind. All right. Well, what's what's the smell gonna be? We're, gonna, we're thinking like uh, we could do goblin or something. Goblin. Ah, uh, they tend to have an interesting odor. How about like like foot funk? <laughs> I mean, yeah, you could. <laughs> like like hiking all day in a dungeon, foot funk. I know exactly what that smells like right now. <laughs> uh, well, uh, all right. So I, I, most times whenever I try to infuse this thing, it just kind of... I mean, it just sort of turns on. So once you do it, you're going to want to... There's no real button, so to speak. Um, so you do need a tiny non-magical object. You got hmm. a rock? Uh, how about a ball bearing? <laughs> <laughs> the scum ball bearing. Yeah, that, that works. Uh, <laughs> we have a ball bearing. Now we're going to have a scum ball bearing. Wait, yeah, sure. Scum ball bearing. Wow. Mm. All right. All right. Yeah, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could even have one of these little ball bearings on your person, even have like a pre recorded message on it if you want. Yeah, you can make it talk to people, but it only says one thing. Hmm. Wait, don't I already have something like that? Yeah, I got the bark box. Oh. Okay. Uh. Well, yeah. So the number of things I can do with this, um, we can do a recorded message. Usually around six seconds is about the most I can go. Uh, we can give it an odor, a some sort of nonverbal sound, so any kind of clatter or anything you like. Or a static visual effect, which... Okay, okay. Um, so is, it, is it on... Wait, oh, okay, go ahead. So je just to um, uh, give a little more detail here. Specifically, it is... You can make it do one of the following magical properties. You can make it shed bright light in a five-foot radius and dim light for an additional five. You can make it whenever it is tapped. It emits a recorded message that can be heard up to ten feet away. That is no longer than six seconds. Uh, continuously emit your choice of an odor or nonverbal sound, up, which is perceivable up to ten feet away. Or a static visual effect that appears on one of the object's surfaces. This can be a picture up to 25 words of text, lines, shapes, or a mixture of elements. Yeah, that. Uh, any one of those, or any one any of those one. on an object? Okay, any one. Okay, and it lasts so. indefinitely until, or until um, he either exceeds the maximum number of effects, or touches the object and ending it early. Yep. Ah, uh, all right, all right. Uh, so either odor, the odors, odors good. Uh, for for the um for the sound can that be like is it every six seconds or like can you can you make it like vary the, uh, the it the says cycle continuously time? Uh, so it's just always going off because I kind of wanted to just like make a have it make a sound but like not at a regular interval you know yeah I mean, but it's every six seconds, so that's 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 a little too uh, it's a little too obvious. Let's just do the odor. We'll just do the odor. Yeah. Feet funk. Okay. okay. Yeah, feet funk. Do you have the ball bearing on you? Oh yeah, right, I got a bag here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well then, we will go on ahead and I I, I take 
I have a bag of holding, and I, and I take it out, and I reach into the bag of holding and take out another bag, <laughs> and I and I reach into that bag and take out a ball bag. <laughs> okay, so it only it's instant. It takes an action. So yep. As soon as it, as soon as you you think about it, touching yep. this object, it immediately begins to emanate the smell of uh very old dungeon foot funk. Oh. Okay. Mm. And oh, it, it, oh. it just immediately fills the space that you guys are in on that second floor. Nothing All right, hold like up. An old trench foot. I, I grip it real tightly in my hand because it's just a ball bearing. So yeah. I should be able to like encircle it entirely. Yeah. It, the, so smell, like... the smell very slowly drifts away. And Okay. Are you going to do that cup the hand thing? Uh, well, I mean, I can hold it in one hand. It's just a ball oh. bearing. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go downstairs. And whose bag? You know? Odds and evens. <laughs> uh, Ragnar is the new guy. <laughs> Newbie prank. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'll stand right. on top of the tower while he's doing this and just think aloud. What have I done? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dungeon funk. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. I make my way down the ladder. Uh, and I am going to slip the ball bearing into uh, into Brock's bag. I'm going to sit. All right. Um, and I'm going to yeah, try to find on. something in there that will like contain it. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> um, let's see. So his bag. Um Oh, uh you do find some alchemist supplies in there. Oh, oh, does he have like does does a does he have like a little vial or flask or something? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I, I just stick it in one of those. <laughs> Like, just cork it up real, real tight. Uh, <laughs> that's going to be something we're going to forget about until, like, a month from now. <laughs> when you suddenly decide to do alchemy. Yeah. <laughs> Find somewhere to make a note of that. It was funny. Uh, that entire time, I was actually, like, making a really tight closed fist, like, physically, while I was saying all that. All right, cool. That's fine. Because I was, like, <laughs> holding it. I had to hold the stink in. <laughs> <laughs> all right um all right. i have this custom item to my inventory aren't i <laughs> i got it i got notes do you <laughs> okay you should totally yeah. name it the scumball barian <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> all right oh god <laughs> all right cool uh with uh with that i'm gonna i'm gonna be like all right all right cool and then I then I take the uh, take the hour to do the the spell storing, and okay. I'm uh, I'm gonna try to get back to sleep. Okay. Um, the rest of your sleep is fine. Uh, the rest mm. of your watch is uneventful. Um. So if you want to go ahead and I think waking up, um, Kalana was gonna take next watch. Um, is Brock gonna come look at me up? Oh no, I thought that. Oh, I just thought we were jumping into it. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I was, I was, I, until you said something, I was like, it's really quiet. Was I supposed to say <laughs> that was your right. you. <laughs> Too busy worrying about this scum foot. All right, so yeah, we're uh, the scumball. It's the scumball. <laughs> All right, so I go down. <laughs> All right, I'm good. I'm good. All right. I go down and wake up Galana. Mm. What do you want? Uh, well, it is your shift, so. Mm. Oh. It's really I, about it. I, okay. Anything eventful? No, no, no. Not really, no. Okay. Well, that's mm -hmm. good at least. All right. Enjoy your rest. 
All right. You as well. Well, well enjoy your watch. Yeah. <laughs> Afterwards, you know what I meant. It's a go to sleep. <laughs> okay. <That's all. laughs> Just uh, grab my journal and um, head up, sit on the roof, keep watch, and uh, draw a little myself you know just keep myself occupied on watch all right go ahead and roll me a perception check what wow uh, 23 okay um as you have your watch you notice something moving uh kind of walking around um, specifically down, I don't have a mini ready for it, um, down over <laughs> here. Um, and you see a figure come out from this hallway here and shuffle along, and it looks to be a giant metal construct. <laughs> Watch it. Um, What's it look like it's doing? It kind of stops here, looks up at the tower, Looks down, just kind of sizing it up, and then just continues lumbering away. Okay. That's... That's good. That's a good sign. <clears throat> I guess at least it left us one. Uh, yeah, just keep an eye out in case it comes back or there's more. Uh, that looked formidable. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just be ready to wake everybody, just in case it comes back. Okay. And, uh, nothing else happens. That's hours good. hours pass. Um, you're not really good at keeping track of time here, mm -hmm. down in the deep, dark dungeon. Uh, but at this point, you feel like it's been... You've definitely had a number of, of new doodles in your journal. And, uh... I feel like it's probably time to start getting everybody up. Okay. Now we'll head downstairs. <clears throat> um. Hmm. Do you wish I'm to do like anything else? Okay. All right. Specifically. And rip out one of the little pages, the by Odin's light. Little doodle. Uh huh. And just have it in my hand when I wake him up. Okay. Truth, you're aroused awake. Oh, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm good. Yep. Oh. What's going on? It's time to get up. Oh, God. I assume. Oh. There's no, like, morning sunlight in, in here. It's really hard to. Uh... Yeah, I'm not really the greatest at a sense of time, but it's probably been a while. You feel rested enough? I think so. Uh, do I DM? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I think I think I'm good. Mm. Uh, mm. here. It's just hand you the piece of paper, ripped out of a journal, and just then it's for you. And oh. Goes over to wake up, uh, Brock or Ragnar, whichever one's next to me. Next. Preferably the one that hasn't had a shift yet. Yeah. <laughs> Ragnar. I'll wake up Ragnar. Mm. She just looks a little awkward about it, but just, you know, shows it in your face and yeah. Here you go. Hmm. I I I guess I unfolded or was it folded or was it just Yeah, it was folded. Okay, I unfolded and just kinda of look at it. You see the the oh, by Odin's light uh, wow. picture. Thank you. You're welcome. And I, uh, I, I tuck the uh, picture into the journal, like right before the uh, the dream page. Okay. Do we have a link for people in the chat to see that? Uh, not yet. We can make one. Yeah, if someone else wouldn't mind doing that, I'll do it. Uh, Thank you. Okay. Oh, okay. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm just gonna link to the Discord. To the image. Okay. Yep. To the image. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. 
Okay. So after a handful of minutes, everybody's woken up. Yeah. What do you guys wish to do? We should probably take down the fortress, right? I, with us outside of it first, preferably. Yeah, yeah, right. Oh, um, by the way, now that everyone's awake, uh, there was a big metal construct wandering around last night, uh, briefly passed by us. How big? How big did you say it was, your yeah. Um, about probably 12-ish feet tall. Yeah, 12, 12 feet tall? I just kind of looked at our tower and then kept walking. Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. Uh, yeah. Well, that's certainly spooky. Just a little. I hate that. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay. Just something to look out for, you know. Oh, and, and sorry, I should have mentioned this at the very beginning of the stream, uh, but for some reason, uh, Mark's mic is screwing up, and he's really quiet. We have done our best to boost him, but sorry if folks cannot hear him that well. Continuing on. <laughs> so yeah, that's something to look out for while we're... when we take down the fortress. Uh, yeah, yeah, huh, hmm. Yeah, never mind. All right. Is it still out there? No. It went oh. away. It was a couple hours ago. Okay. All right. So you guys head outside of your fancy fortress. Fancy, fancy. Yep. I'm so fancy. <laughs> Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. I, I actually had to get you guys out of it. You do have to um, leave the fortress to oh, take it down. Um, <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and just do this. And so I can get the controls right anyway. And there we go. Fortress be gone. That is really cool. So, where to? Well, which way did this metal thing talk about? It went back where the where the old staircase was. Oh, so and not that the, way. Yeah, the old tunnel. Yeah, and the old staircase. Mm. Well, there was a door up where those uh, goblins were. We never checked that out. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. We we did never we never checked that door. No. Straight along this path and then to the right. Yeah, that's this what I'm way. thinking. The, that right. way. Right. I'm gonna cast. Yeah. Uh, move with, what is it? Pass without a trace. Yeah, that one that I can do. The one with the stuff and the magic and moving and stuff. Alright. That door, I thought we were talking about further up. Nah, this one. Yeah, they, you guys were talking about this gap here. Alright, I will listen at the door. Okay, you make me a perception check. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Uh, I can hear someone's typing very easily. By the way. Whoops! Sorry. Um. Yeah. Uh. So let's see. Yeah, you don't hear anything. I mean, you can kind of hear the two giant figures from the other room still, because they're rather big. But uh, you don't hear anything coming from behind the doors. I almost forgot I have to, you know, reveal rooms. 
<laughs> a little handy. Oh, that looks nice. Um, so this little alcove, this uh, this hall here has three different alcoves that you can very kind of peer around the corners and and see these two, and then you can very easily see this one. Uh, they seem to have granite statues uh, in them, about eight foot tall. Uh, helmed elf warriors holding a spear. Um, this spear, specifically, appears to be made of gold. Okay. Um, question. Yes. Kind of not for myself. Did Brock, I think it was Brock, had a staff, or not staff, a wand of detect magic? Right? That it's on empty, the, I believe. The, well, those, uh, uh, which do they recharge? Uh, yeah, they. Oh, I think actually, they regain they charges yeah. at dawn. A D3 daily at dawn, so I'll roll that real fast. Yeah, D6 but divided by 2. Does, does right. his... Uh, so what, three charges? Situation. Mm. Yeah, it's true. Technically, yours doesn't, but you can just remake it. Oh, then yeah, I'll just do that. Yeah. Brand new. Woo. Boom, boom. Got it. <laughs> Probably do the same thing for the other one I've got, too. Wand of Secrets. Yeah, that guy. Okay. Oh, Is there the anything picture. written on the statue? Um, there does not appear to be, from what you see. Do you get closer to inspect it? Yes. Alright, as uh, you are looking down at the base of the statue, uh, you do notice there is an inscription. And as you lean in to read it, a hand touches your shoulder. I need everyone to roll initiative. Ah, shit. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Didn't start uh -oh. early, huh? Yep. While you guys Damn, are rolling. Truth. <laughs> truth is ready to freaking roll. I, I might be. I I'm going to say Cannon. Uh, he's a little on edge. <laughs> advantage on initiatives, too? I have advantage on everything. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like it. Pretty much he does. It's kind of crazy. Is that because of his class um, or something? Fighting. No, he's he's got he's got some stuff. Um, oh, okay. Okay. All right. So that guy is that. So let's go ahead and enter initiative mode. All right. So um, twenty-five to twenty. Twenty-two. Uh, twenty to fifteen. 15 to 10. I got 12. I have 13. What'd you get, Kalana? Oh, God. 14. <laughs> I spaced. I don't know what the hell happened. All right. And then I think I'm going to have to make this thing visible real quick. What direction uh, did this hand come from? The statue. Oh. So it's like from in front of me, like down. Oh, hey. Shoulder. It's our best friend. <laughs> Ah, son of a bitch. Look familiar, Truth. <laughs> All right, so Truth, uh, you you're up first. Um, you see the statue suddenly shift and move as it reaches out towards Kalana's shoulder, just barely starting to graze uh, her shoulder. You notice that suddenly, across the statue, many eyes begin to pop up, and the chest splits open, revealing a row of sharp teeth. Oh shit, Eldritch Blast. <laughs> <laughs> and An appropriate roll. response. <laughs> I'm gonna roll both of them. Wow. Uh, a 24 and an 11. <laughs> uh, hit and miss. Alright. If you still had it, you could have made it choke on the scumball, Barian. Uh, <laughs> true. Uh, 10 damage. <laughs> Alright. Most. Huh. And I just go, look out! Alright, uh, Kalana. 
assuming I feel the Eldritch Blast grazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, 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 you immediately look up and see this thing. Oh, fuck. Um, uh, I'm going to use my dagger on it. First swipe. Uh, 18. 18, that's a hit. Eight damage. And then my second swipe with the dagger. Uh, 10. That's a miss. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I got. All right. Brock. Uh, the sounds of combat make me turn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then run forward to here, to here, and up to the sky. And swing a swing with the fist. Where are we at? Plus seven. Cool. Uh, 19. Hit. For a total of nine. All right. And same thing. 23. Yep. And 10. All right, you just start punching into this thing, and it just glances your way as your fist begins to emit a high-pitched whine that only it can hear. And if he tries to attack anyone else, he has disadvantage. Yep. Ragnar. Uh, viable. <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, that is a hit. 26, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> 16 damage. Fire. Oh. Woof. Alright. It's turn. It is not looking so hot. Uh, was that all you wanted to do? Um, I apologize. I hadn't, I hadn't asked. Nah, that's cool. That's all I want to do. All right. All right, I guess step backward. I want to step back. Away from it. All right, there you go. Boop. That's it. Okay. Um, so it is going to uh, try to uh, pseudopod. You know, it's just going to straight up go for a bite against um, Brock. And that is a 22 to hit. Match. All right. That is seven piercing damage and one acid damage. Okay. I take one point. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right. Um, truth. <laughs> uh, Eldridge Blast. <laughs> Uh, right, um, can help if I, uh, 15 and over 20. <laughs> yeah, double hit. Okay, great. Boop, boop. Uh, 13 and a 9 damage. Alright, as, as you loose the Eldritch Blasts from your hand, they twirl, twin together, hit this thing square in the chest, and it just explodes. Ew. Well, <clears throat> does it explode away from us at least? Yes. Oh, good. Oh, thank God. Okay. So we're not covered in mimic goo. Yeah. That was a wonderful start to the day. Uh... Thanks for that, Truth. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. And you, you guys I didn't get my hair. Did you? you guys very easily notice now uh, that there is a pile of rubble of probably what you used to be the statue. Before the mimic took its place. Um, I would like to search that pile of rubble to see if there's any golden spears in it. All right, go ahead and make me an investigation check. Oh, that was supposed to be large. Whoops. Nineteen. Oh. Um, yeah, there is not. It seems like the mimic had specifically made it look gold, the one in its hand, so it could lure 
things to it. Just extra, that's what it was. Alright. So while I'm doing that... Mimics. Yeah. Let me check the other statues. <laughs> These also depict... Um, elven warriors with spears. Their spears are not gold. Do they have anything written at the base, too? They seem as like they used to. Uh, the inscriptions are very much worn, along with a lot of the finer details of the statue. Seems these statues oh. have been here for a very long time. Bummer. Hmm. Well. Hmm. No, 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 not that door, not that door, no truth. Hmm? Oh, right. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't. Sorry. Run over to you and just stop you. No, no, no. That's, remember All the right. big two-headed things that we saw yesterday? That's the yeah, bad yeah, door. Yeah, yeah. I'm assuming I can hear them yep. on the other side of the door, or stomping around, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. right, 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 we're gonna... Yep, you, you, could, you, the other door you, you can very clearly hear them on the other side, just... <laughs> nice. Wow. Yeah, let's avoid that one if we can. Well, that production value. <laughs> right. <laughs> Alright, let, let's try this other door. All right, yeah, all right. let's... Let's try that I don't one. Want, I don't want that. I don't want. To, I don't want to be dinner. All right. Yeah, me either. Was that you, or is that built into Tailspire? <laughs> I hey, got I a him. tool called Voice Mod. Okay, I just wanted to be sure because if it's in Tailspire, that's cool. We need to discuss it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and roll. Probably be an extra. What's up, Ragnar? You uh, you ready? You rolling some dice, Ragnar? <laughs> I'm going to listen at the door. I assume that's a perception check. Yep. Uh, many point. <laughs> many point. All right, yeah, you don't hear uh, You don't hear anything. So how do I get this item of when I roll a check, it's at advantage? <laughs> you buy it. <laughs> Money. <laughs> so, you want to open it? Is it good? Shit, the void again. Oh, oh boy! <laughs> Another I hallway. Be the void in the hallway. It's in the hallway. Hallways will never end. Well, hopefully oh, this one does. God. Please, All right. just want to find the stairs. You guys want to sneak forward? Or what do you guys want to do? Y you know, I get, I, get, it. I get the feeling because the guy said that it couldn't be that easy. We probably have to go through the big fuckers to get to the stairs. Yeah, well, we can try. See, I've got a feeling. I'm going to sneak. What was it you were saying, uh, Ragnar? Oh, sorry. I got a feeling that it's going to be like an entire. Couldn't hear. Uh, didn't you cut off right at the end? I got a feeling that it's like the other side of the dungeon. <laughs> Uh, Kalana, go ahead and make me a stealth check as you go down oh. the hallway. Um, with advantage. And, or is it and, with plus 10? Yeah, but you're also considered invisible to things that rely on dark vision, so. But I have my armor, so I don't have advantage anymore. Oh, that's right. Yeah. It's still really high, though. Uh, 19. Did that include the plus 10? Yeah. Okay. All right. You feel stealthy. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Huh? Alright, I'll call back. Alright, come on up here. Boom, ba -doop. Okay. Boom, ba -doom, boom. <laughs> Gee, I didn't mean that. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Oh, that's right, they Sorry. can't see me. <laughs> yeah, they can't see you. Oh, hey. by the collars. <laughs> I do not have a collar. You have something. Where are we by your freaking braid? <laughs> Mark was the collar. Oh. I got true scarf, I got your hair, just. <laughs> yeah. 
I always forget kinda, about that. I guess I just kind of see them grabbed by nothing, so I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> Restrained in the darkness. <sighs> okay, well. I'm going to light a torch real quick. Just to make sure that's actually Kalana holding me. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Okay. That's a fair <laughs> assumption. <laughs> that's a fair thing to be afraid of down here, actually. Don't do that! You can't see me! Say something! You I did! Birds. I tried! <laughs> Walk fast! <laughs> I am small, okay? You are big. So, I do what I can. I'll grab your the walking stick. Next. You want me to trip you instead? Would that work? Just trip. What you guys doing? Ah, fuck it. Doors. Yeah. All right. I'll listen at the left one. You listen at the right one. You got it. Assuming our cameras are oriented the same way, he says totally not out of camera. I will just go <laughs> to the door that you're not at. What's a camera? <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right. So first, Ragnar, give me your roll. Uh, twenty-four again. Okay, and then Kalana, give me your roll. Perception, right? Yep. Ten. Okay, Kalana, you don't hear anything. Um, Ragnar, you hear a lot of things. Like <laughs> you hear. What sounds? Let's see. Uh, do you uh, go ahead and make me a nature check? Doesn't matter if you're trained in it. Am I not trained in nature? Six. Six. That's still high enough. A real low DC on this because it sounds like bats. Got nothing over here. What about you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> hey, Ragnar. <laughs> All right. So I hear bats, which means there there's something ex extremely crazy going on. Oh. There's a way out to the surface past this door. Well, we don't want to get to the surface. We want to go deeper, but. Well, Wasn't there a big a bat on the drawing? Uh, there was. Let's not go through that. You don't want to go through the bats. The bat door? But it's like it's like a bat cave, guys. Na, 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 na. I'm worried about some Where sort of it? bat man thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh and Uriah starts playing the TPK. All right. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, there was a big bat thing on the drawing. I pull out the map that I that I took the drawing down of. Yep, there is a there, right there, big bat thing, or maybe a moth. I don't know. I didn't draw it super well. <laughs> it's a bat. It's a nice bat. Oh no! I just I, I just wrote bat. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can either A, go to the door where we know what's behind it, or open the quiet door that we don't know what's behind it. If anything. Or we could... Can we, can we peek through? We can go a different path. Can we, can, uh, we like, can we peek through the doors? We can try, yeah. I'll... Do you want me to try to open this door? See? Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, you got All stealth. Right. Besides, uh, if anybody in there has dark vision, they'll just uh, they'll just see the door opening by itself, which is all right. I mean, that, that should really spook them, you know. <laughs> or they'll immediately come straight towards you, and we know what that means. Hey, just close and the door. It, yeah, yeah. We'll just all right. Brock out of line of sight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hmm. Uh, I, I'm gonna go, go ahead and just like discreetly summon my weapon. <laughs> <laughs> to kind of do it in my hand that's away from the party. Uh, uh, um, like behind have your back? Yeah. Um, Wait, make we, me a sleight of hand check. Yet? Okay. You have not. 
I was I gonna say, that. is this gonna scare one of us? Like, scare all. <laughs> uh, thirteen. All right. Uh, pretty much everyone notices. <laughs> um, uh, no, I, I meant. I'm I meant sorry. to do that a lot. I think I missed something. What did we notice? When the hell? So did yeah, you that? guys notice instead of his halberd, he now has a very large, very dull, glowing red sight. Uh, when did you get that, buddy? Uh, yeah, we're we're in dungeon. I, I found it. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> uh, I, I had I had weird. Um, can we can we talk about this later? Maybe. I, I mean, we're talking about it. If you want to talk about, it, we're talking about it later. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, let's just let's focus on the dungeon. Okay. <laughs> All right. Or to get a shape shifting weapon. Quiet door. Have a shape shifting weapon. Did you just okay, make me that? a sleight of hand check, Kalana? <laughs> <laughs> Did we call you what, Mark? Just call me a door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <at> eleven. <laughs> um. Oops, I forgot that I need to. You come in and uh, peek around the corner, and uh, you seem to have found a dead end, filled with rubble. Oh, good. More rubble. And just unceremoniously turn back around. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing there. It's just disappointment. <laughs> sure Sticky is. Rocks. Yep. <laughs> dead end. That's a nice, that's a nice dead end. <laughs> <laughs> a nice boulder. I like that boulder. <laughs> okay. All right. Can, can let's we do this one to see if it's actually real. Oh Jesus! Throw a rock at it. How, how big is this thing? Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's two handed. Uh, yeah. All right. I'm kind of using the uh the the pole of the scythe, kind of like as a walking stick as I go along. <laughs> Just. Do, do, do. So, all right. I guess we're going to bat. I guess we're I going to bat that. country, bat cave. To the bat cave. To the bat. Cave. Do, 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 do. Do, we want, do, do we want to be stealthy about this, or uh... uh, or we could just like kick in the door and you know, guns blazing, fighting all the bats in order. I don't have any more charges on my necklace of fireball. Just FYI. Ragnar should be fine. Yeah. Rested. Well, do you want me to try to sneakily open this door too? Although they use sonar, they're gonna see me. Um. Well, I don't know. I will try to sneakily open. Okay. Maybe. Maybe I should go in first, since I doubt they can bite through my armor. If you wish to test that theory. Roll me a slight hand check. If they start flying through the door, everyone get behind me. Okay. Alright, so this is one of the few rooms that I didn't fully prepare. (gasps) (laughs) Just because I did not expect you guys to go here. Uh... So, let's see. Done goop on your Bioware check. Uh, ooh. That's, okay. That's a lot. Oh, he's still going. All right. I can shit. Stop now, mate. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> All right, there we go. You're lying, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I see the amount of bats. I slam the door shut. <laughs> as soon as you slam the door, so you the thing is, you would open the door and you saw what was more or less an empty room. But as soon as you opened the door, you also were able to see above and see all of them nesting on top of the ceiling. I'm just going to slam, slam the door, the door. shut. <laughs> and as you do, you just hear them start to go berserk in there. And I am holding the door shut. <laughs> well, now we definitely can't go in there. <laughs> yeah, never mind. <laughs> now it's... You also notice... Right. You also notice that they did not look like normal bats. Mm-hmm. Oh, so. Of course they didn't. <laughs> um, they almost seem to have 
Um, they they almost seem to be a cross between a bat and a oversized mosquito. <laughs> yeah, right now. We're, we're not going in that room. I know what those do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so two headed monsters it is. After right, a few minutes so... of the door kind of getting pelted uh, with tiny, tiny uh, impacts, uh, it settles down. All right. Does anyone have a dagger? Yo. Uh, Matt, yo. A moment? Why? I need to write a note. Don't open. And somebody <laughs> took my uh, other blade. All right, here, here. I'll give him my oh, dagger yeah. of venom to let him carve it in. All right, and I just carve into the door. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dagger of venom, though, it has to be a little more. And then a that. little bit below that, bats. <laughs> Right. No. No bats. No bats. Yeah, bats. What you just sorry. Yeah, no. no exclamation mark. Bats. Exclamation mark. Okay. No exclamation. Mark. <laughs> Do not open dead inside. Got it. <laughs> Do not dead open inside. All right. Well, now that that's and the high kiss. I get the feeling bat. there was something more than just bats in there. Thank you. I would like my dagger. <laughs> uh, you know what? If you if you really Not want to find room. out, Brock, we can wing you in there huh? and wait a few minutes, see how it goes. I mean, if they stop scurrying, maybe they went back to their space or they found another way out. Uh, I, I could I could see through the end of that room. I could see that there was no other way out. I assume, right? Oh. Uh, you didn't really get. I mean, you saw that there were no other exits, uh, but you didn't get a okay. you didn't see the room in much detail. Okay. okay. I believe it didn't really look like there were another exits. My, I believe my dark vision uh, goggles allow me to see if there was nothing else. Where is everybody? <laughs> they have teleported up to the other door. <laughs> we walked. That's uh, true. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Um, uh-huh. Can everybody still see their characters? Yes. Yeah. Yep. So we, we can't see one, you. Yeah, so you was that one of the glitches before that uh, one of yeah. the bugs uh, we ran into? Yeah, it, got, it already got fixed. Sweet. Cool. Glad that got fixed. All right, you guys, uh, you guys ready for this? Hey, wait a moment. I mean, should we prepare to try to put the fortress down? Yeah, you think, or should we? we can't. All right, here's the plan. I'm gonna kick open the door and cast whole person on these guys. Wait a minute, if it wait a fails, minute. I've got another charge of it. Let's uh, maybe put the fortress back where it was. So if need be, we can retreat to it. Well, well how, I don't think the ceiling's tall deploy? enough in here. That's why I said put it back where it was. Well, you... No? Okay. Well, it's got to be tall enough. I don't think. Is it tall enough in here to deploy? It seems yeah, we, like we did see this room yesterday. Deploys, so I know in the room it's range. tall enough, but in where we are right now, I don't think it is. Oh, it it's is not. not no, it's not big enough. Yeah, but I mean, even if we had to run away, we could still deploy it. It's pretty quick. Yeah, I mean, we could run back through these doors. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, we could just run back through the doors and shut them. Yeah. All right, you guys ready? No. Yep. All right. <laughs> Open the door. <laughs> All right. There's a way to lead these things into the bat room. Uh, as you do, as basically as soon as you open the door, uh, you just hear just a... <laughs> and they all turn and, and look your way. And I go, boop, and I cast whole person on them. Let's see... Uh, I was looking to see if, uh, they must be within 30 feet of each other. Okay, cool. They are. Okay. So, I cast whole person on both of them just as I open the door. All right. Uh, let me, give me just a second. Let me unveil a little more since you guys are at a different angle. Okay. Um, okay. Has to succeed on a wisdom saving throw. Uh, DC 14. Okay. 
And it's a success. Both of them? Yep. Oh, dang. All right, well, <laughs> that, that, that failed. So they, they do not seem to be stopped. Uh, I need everyone to roll initiative now. <laughs> hmm. Well, you tried, Truth. Oh, shit. That's a lot of dice. All right, check spell streets. Uh... Right, come on. There's my dice. There's my dice. <laughs> Just cast Expedious Retreat on yourself. <laughs> All right, uh, twenty-five to twenty. I got twenty-two. Twenty to fifteen. Fifteen to ten. Do, 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 do. Oh, come <laughs> on. Lick it. Eh, there we go. Um. Okay. Ten to five. Nine. Seven. Alright. And in truth, what'd you get? Four. Okay. Hey. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say I was, just you? I was just surprised that the spell didn't work at all. Now you okay. know how Luigi feels. He was banking on it so much. Alright. Um Ragnar. Oh, sorry. Combat music. Yes, gonna need that. Are you gonna be yeah. able to heal Mark over that? Um, let's do this guy. I can talk forcefully if need be. I have it. I have <laughs> the music fairly quiet, so. Okay. Alright, I'm going to... Ooh, thing in the back. I'm yeah, it, going to... In the back of the room, you do, notice that there is a large black forge. Blackened forge that dominates the northern wall. Anyway, you're going to what? Good. Do the thing and stuff. Um, oh, I've forgotten it now. Um, moment. Right. Mm -hmm. Fireball. <laughs> fireball. <laughs> That's all I heard was fireball, despite all the, the quiet voice. <laughs> it's the most important part. All right, so that's deck saves. I believe so. Hopefully they're yep. not very Dex quick. 15. They fail both of those. Or both of them fail, rather. Oh, I was like, did he cast it twice? What the no. hell? <laughs> Both of them fail. Yes. Wind high roller, high roller. Sweet Jesus. You get advantage on the damage roll, too? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 27 fire. Alright. With a very loud <laughs> fireball goes off in the room and, and they just both roll back. <laughs> And I'm gonna back up here and be like, "All right, rest is all you, Brock." <laughs> <laughs> now that they're on fire, go punch them. All right. <laughs> um. So uh, as this one's turn, um, it just kind of starts coming your guys' way, and you see that both heads are actually talking separately. <laughs> Oh, they are two headed. Right. Yep. Oh, good. Oh, <laughs> All right. Uh, so it brings one attack down at you with its uh, morning star, and that's a uh, seventeen to hit. That uh, is a hit. Might want to shield that. <laughs> oh, that's not so bad. Um, 15 slashing damage. Oh, that hurt. I'm or sorry, sorry, what? 15 piercing damage. Because oh, okay. it was the Morning Star. Right. Uh, <laughs> Still. <I'm gonna> 
I'm gonna hellish rebuke that. Okay. It's how big uh, that guy is. It, it makes a deck save, save, right? Yes. Of DC 14. Oh, it failed. Cool. It's gonna take 10 damage. Oh <laughs> man, two ones. Are you serious? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then it's gonna come down with its battle axe. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh. All right. Uh, for with a nine to hit. Uh, that's gonna miss. <laughs> All right. Um, Kalana. Woo. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try to pin its battle axe arm with my bow. So I'm gonna expend one of my charges and shoot at it. Okay. Um, what kind of check does it have to make for that? Though. Well, it's only if you uh, hit first, isn't it? Yeah, I have to hit first, but it's a DC 15 dex. Uh, 19. That's a hit. It fails. Yes. Um, nine pierce, or nine radiant damage. Okay. And, um... You said you pinned it. Which arm? Uh, the arm with the battle axe. Pin its arm with the battle axe okay. to itself. All right. And then Noted. I'm gonna fire my other two shots. As normal. Can I roll from both at the same time? Um. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Twenty-eight and a twelve. Hit and hit. Oh shit. Alright, nice. so I get to add my extra I get an extra D ten in there. Yeah. So that is she's a one. Um oh shit. And then you would add your modifier in cool. twice. Yeah. Uh so twenty eight piercing. Woof. As you sink two chat two uh arrows straight into its chest. <laughs> I forgot to get the voice up in time. Uh for that one. Uh, <laughs> it was beautiful. Um All right. It's just uh, that it sounds a lot less spooky with a punctured lung. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh as the other one now uh Oh, dang it. <laughs> I mean, hopefully he can't swing at you from there. I don't think he can. Let's see, checking their speed. Does this one have a ballista for a crossbow? Oh, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> Where's he going? Boy, he's moving to flank. Oh, they know about flanking. Oh, God. <laughs> it's harder than we thought. <laughs> Brock. Uh, well, all right. So I guess it just pretty much leaves me to walk up and punch it in the shin. Or whatever. Whoa, no, me, it might be ankle. How tall is this guy? I like 15 foot. <laughs> See, 20. Like he was 20. He was 20, like feet, 20 feet. So Yeah, I yeah. probably reach his kneecap if I jump. <laughs> so... Uh, you want to go for the shin? That'll, that'll distract him more. Uh, do you want me to do both rolls at the same time or one at a time? Um, both. Both. Well, no, j just one, just one, one at a time. Oh, Sorry. Well, drop these over here. Yeah, drop ignore and ignore. Both. Ignore. <laughs> okay. What we got? Uh, twenty-one. That's a hit. Woo. Uh. <laughs> it didn't pop up, but I can see it's a four, so we're going to go eight damage. All right. Second attack. 20. All right. It's a hit. And... Yeah, 11. All right. As you punch and this thing's shin just explodes backwards. Uh, and uh, it just topples oh. to the ground. Oh, if I knew her name, I would have made a reference to that lady with the pipe wrench at the skiing resort <laughs> the olympic thing i can't remember the oh, thing she, tanya harding. she like yes that tanya harding that troll <laughs> <laughs> oh. wow all right still your I turn 
difference right there. I do. Uh, do I want to move toward? Yeah, you know what? One. Well, I did move one already, so two, three, four, five. <laughs> this is where he just eats me whole. No. <laughs> I have to Hercules my way out of his stomach. Uh, <laughs> truth. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, 1, 10, 15, 20. Uh, I'm going to do Hexblade's Curse. Uh, yeah. And I'm going to swing at him. Whoop. Uh, 16 to hit. Hit. Cool. Uh, let's see. This is... All right, I can do some a whole more calculations here. That, and then... That. Uh, plus 8. 15 damage. Wait, um, plus eight. Oh yeah, your yeah. curse. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. And then second attack uh, is going to be a twenty-two to hit. That's also a hit. So, and here we go. Uh, twenty-three damage. Woof. I'm going to smite with that second one. Okay. So. Oh, an additional 14. Jesus. That thing is looking hurting. Yeah. <laughs> that it? Yeah, that's it. All right. Ragnar. Hmm. <laughs> Firebolt. Did you say fire? Oh, bolt. Oh, Firebolt. Oh, okay. Oh. That's less terrifying. Yeah, I don't have that many fireballs. I mean, I guess I technically do have all the fireballs to throw around. <laughs> what was that to hit? That would be a number that I've gone and forgotten. 21. That's a hit. Hmm. Eight fire. <laughs> All right. And give me just a second. Getting a screenshot real quick. Uh, all right. So with that, your fireball goes forward and just blasts one of the heads clean off as the creature falls to the ground dead. Ooh. Did you get it? Huh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah right. we got it. Don't worry about it. <sighs> That's good. Those were surprisingly easy to kill. Uh, yeah? Um, yeah, you're welcome for that. Anyway. <laughs> yes. We all contributed. A blackened forge dominates this northern wall. Um, its heat seems to have expired long ago. By the way, on the table next to you there, uh, is a, um... Ba, ba, ba. A giant, uh, two dead and very rotting carrion crawlers lie atop of it. Um, um, but uh, here there is a uh, iron anvil in front of the forge as well, which stands atop a three foot high circular stone dais in front of it. Hanging above the anvil from thick iron chains. Is a very large, ten feet long, eight foot wide, stone hammer. Carved into the head are dwarvish runes. Ragnar, can you read that? Um... If not, I think most of us can. I can read. Ah, uh, yes. Runes. Okay. Boop. Yes, I can. <laughs> oh, I. Oh, I thought you could. 
Okay. Yep. <laughs> um, so yes, uh, they are the runes for earth, water, air, and fire. Guys, we found the avatar hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Um, with your passive perception, even with it at the minus five, uh, you also notice that there seems to be two large bags in the back of the forge. Got to give those a look -see. As you reach in the forge, you easily grab the bags and pull them out. Um, though one is a little hefty. Um, about 120 pounds or so. So, one bag contains a bunch of copper and a good handful of silver. Like coins or... Coins. The other bag contains a lot of iron ingots. The really heavy one. Each ingot weighs about a pound. And is stamped with a hammer on one side and an anvil on the other. Grab both the bags and set them on the table. And be like, hey guys, check this shit out. You go to set them on the table, but there is a giant corpse of a carrion crawler there. I shove the corpse out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> you activated my trap card. <laughs> oh, also, now that you guys are over here, you can see. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, <laughs> Where was the post to go? Alrighty. But yeah, so taking your time, uh, you count about 1,400 copper pieces and 350 silver pieces. This is an inconvenient amount of money. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I have a bag of holding, so we can throw it in there. Does, quick question Does anybody not have? Not have what? A bag of holding. Bag of holding. Oh, uh, I do. I think everyone does. Yeah, yes. I think we all got. Somebody it was honestly the last thing I bought, but yes, I did buy one. All right, so is that three hundred and fifty copper a piece? I'm doing my math right, and then how much? How much was it? There? It was there were th there was three hundred and fifty silver and fourteen hundred copper. All right, yeah. So it's about. 86, 87. Well, it's 87 and a half. On the the 80, yeah. Yep. That's what I got to. Alright, well. That's enough for the copper. Poof. Yep, 350 copper a piece. So 355, I get. Well, no. You can't really break the silver up, so. And then yeah. you can just have the other silver. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Okay, how much was it? Thirty-eight silver. Uh, Three hundred and fifty silver total. Total. Yeah. So yeah. and it's your share of the silver is eighty-eight. Yeah. Everyone else is eighty-seven. Okay. And there, then it'd be eighty-nine actually, because it's two silver cut into. And then, and then you also found uh, 120 iron ingots. How much does that weigh? 120 pounds. I say, I think you said a pound each. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Bag of holding that shit. I don't. The whole thing. Uh, I don't know if a bag of holding can actually hold up. Can hold about 500 pounds, I think. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, we're good. Yeah. I mean, we can split those up if we want, but I think we're alright to just throw them all in one. Do we need them? I mean, iron ingots sell pretty decently to any blacksmith, I would think. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how much... Uh, is there a check I could do to sort of estimate how much each of these might be worth? An intelligence check. You have no idea. I mean, do we really need to carry around all these costly paperweights? 
I mean, uh, truth does, and it's worked out pretty well. What, the ball bearings? Yeah. Those are not paperweights. Those are an essential dungeon delving See, tool. See, that's what I was saying. I said <laughs> that they were, they've worked out well. <laughs> so now there's yeah, okay, sure. fancy ball bearings. Let, let's split them up between us and uh Yeah. And uh how, how much how much total was it? So you get 30 iron ingots each. Okay. I will set, just add that. This? Let's see. Yeah, you can always add custom. Yeah, I was just seeing if it existed, but I guess it doesn't yet. So. Whoa! Hmm. What? My D and D Beyond just crashed. Hold up. Oh wow! Oh. I've never had that happen before. Uh, magic equipment. Must be because I had things aligned left. <sighs> <laughs> Uh, there is no iron ingots. Uh, you just make a custom. Custom item. I have them like nostalgia for Skyrim, just like an ingot. Gotta take it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi, right, cool. Whoa, whoa. What? Oh. Uh. Okay. So I did the weight override just because. And I put 30 in there, not realizing it was per, so I, 900 pounds popped <laughs> up. I'm like, whoa! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. I'm going to add that scum ball berry in real quick so I don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. Yes. And I'm putting in my notes, placed by truth. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh good haul, I guess. I don't know. I um <laughs> you now that they're you should hear dead, um you're able to notice that the Etten or the well, I mean you didn't know they were, but the the giant figures have uh symbols carved in their forehead. Um mm. no 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 Creepy. no uh, brands of the Xanathar. Ooh. And nothing's popped out of their skulls yet? Nope. Thank god. Alright, okay. guys, stand back. Yes. Why? I'm gonna pull out my sack of iron ingots, and I'm gonna squash the remaining head of the one that, uh, um... That you didn't demolish? That, that uh... <laughs> There are yeah, three heads to it. Uh, right I'm going to squash heads. <laughs> Every other time we have run into somebody with a symbol of Xanathar on their head, a brain eater has popped out of the fucking head. Granted, That's they've true. only been bugbears, but yeah, and I'm not I'm not against it. All right, as you just mercilessly just start making these heads into just mashed goo. Uh -huh. No brain eaters pop out. You know, that's how no. your cousin ended up. Mm. Mm. Which one? Uh, he was a paladin. I don't know. Truth, you smashed his head in, right? Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's not, Why we're not, I uh, uh, <laughs> it's, I wasn't there for that. Now that that's I think a complicated <laughs> story. Um, yeah, and y'all weren't there for that. We Is had that to hide the body. Happened? I had to set my other friend on fire. We're just, it's, it's uh, been, uh, Oh, an adventure. Yeah. I think Martin wrote about that. I feel an unnatural, empathetic bond towards yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> I just really want to set him on fire. He was cool. He actually owned the tavern with me. We were the only two who survived through that, and then he oh. went and fucking died. Uh, me, oh, so. Hold up. Do you speak of the legendary Corbin the Cool? No. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Do we want to continue down this? <laughs> pathway from the the many crispy goblin room or do we want to go back to the whole room and try that other door i like continuing on with crispy goblin room also right. uh you're right you need to move truth for him for a moment he needs to take a break for a second oh, okay i think gotta run to the bathroom or something all right all right 
going to book sneak. Okay. To... Go ahead and make me a stealth check. You feel pretty sneaky coming to this dead end. I'm going to gasp, <laughs> turn around, and bolt. <laughs> they gasp? Gasp, <laughs> turn around, and bolt. So you guys just see him just run by. Just, <gasps> and just run. Uh, right now, what the hell? Uh, Nothing, don't worry about it. What the fuck you mean? <laughs> um, I take a look. I mean, you cannot see around the corner, but you don't see anything coming down. Fuck it, I'm gonna look. I don't even see Ragnar anymore. He ran the other way. Go make sure he's not a. Oh, he's there okay. he is. Oh, okay. <laughs> and you see a dead end. Are you. Uh. Ragnar, are you fucking me there, Ragnar? <laughs> Disappointment. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're playing jokes. Got <laughs> right. it. Okay. Got it. Oh, goodness. I didn't know you did that. <laughs> All right, it's been a weird day. Is it what? even day? Um, Mark, you have a D6 of Bardic Inspiration. Hey! Hey! hey. So, side player note here. Yep. Zooming out reveals that, at least un unless there's hidden doors somewhere we missed, um, we've actually finally cleared what looks like a wing. Yep. Sort of. So... This whole where side we... beyond where we oh, met the dude in the right. hole seems to be wide open oh, now. Oh, all the way back there, yeah. Well, it's Unless on the other side of this wall if we want to just go through it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's make our way back there. Has anyone been keeping, like, a rough sketch map of our progress, or are we just kind of fumbling? Uh... Got it. I might have. <laughs> yeah, I think I think Kalana's supposed to be the one doing it. Yeah, Kalana. Yeah, Kalana's. She probably has the best it. sense of direction with her um city knowledge, or whatever that was preferred terrain. Does this does this count as mountain terrain since we're in under mountain? It does not. No, it's Damn. under mountain terrain. <laughs> not this <Yeah>. floor anyway. <laughs> not this floor. Ooh, other floors. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's. Can we just teleport over there? Yeah. Okay. anything else at the bottom of the hole? There is not. <laughs> this room is much the same as you left it. Oh, well, do we try the door behind mm -hmm. the troop here? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess we never did try that one. Alright. Oh. Uh, I'll put my ear up to it. Alright, go ahead and make me a perception check. Uh-oh. Uh, I don't think mine's even that great. Oh, it's alright. Uh, 16. No, sorry, 13. Alright, um... Yeah, you don't hear anything behind it? Alright, I don't, I don't hear anything. Do you guys want me to just... Break yeah, fuck it. Alright, well, I mean, I won't do that, but I'll open it. <laughs> there we go! Uh, oh boy! Hold on. A hidden hallway. Sorry. It's a hallway. <laughs> there we go. It's a hallway full of statue mimics. I mean... <laughs> So things well, we cannot trust thus far in this dungeon. Statues, uh, pillars, mirrors. You. With a symbol on their head. Me. So far the uh, floor is okay. What did you just say? I said so far the floor has been okay. Did you seriously just jinx us like that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I mean, the ceiling's already tried to attack us with leathery wings. When did the ceiling try to attack us? Oh, the bats. That's not... Okay. Yeah, kinda. That's fair. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> pretty much the only way to... Oh. Mm. Okay. Well, that's not expe how I expected this to go. Yeah, yeah. same. Alright, uh, hold up right there. Whoop. Ah, oh, shit. Here, um, back a couple. Right there, right where you're at. Okay. Um... 
see. Oh. Dark visions. So many hallways. Uh, who's dark visions? Visions. 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 Uh, um, so Brock and I both have 60 feet. And 90. Yep. Wow, is it 60 total or 60 and then 60 dim? 60 total. Positive. Okay. All right, yep. Just big enough, just enough to start to see that. Um, so in the distance, just at the edge of your dark vision. I don't even know if your actual mini can see them or not. Um, you can see okay. uh, basically straight through here. Um, you can just barely see uh, what appears to be a handful of goblins on one side of an overturned table. I put my hand up as a means to stop. I don't know how who else of you can see this, but there are goblins up ahead. Uh, a yeah, lot of might I be the best for getting to jump on them with this if we want to take them out. I can do that. But I also don't know Hopefully what else there's is nothing there. else over there, yeah. Yeah, so far every time we found goblins there's generally bugbears nearby. I'm starting to think that the bugbears might be their, like, leaders, or their team leader, pack leader kind of thing. Their muscle. Yeah. The ones in charge. But... Well, I can try but, anyway. Yeah, so we, it looks like we can go a couple of ways, but... That's like love them. to sneak up. I'll, I'll sneak up. Let me try to take a look, see if I see anything else. Okay. So DM, I'm a I'm a sneaky up towards the nope. Maybe. <laughs> you're gonna there we go. gonna pick it up. <laughs> okay. Um yeah. shift move is how you end up on top of walls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I noticed. Um so you can see a chamber to the north. Um What hold, in the Nile of those? Hold, hold up, hold up. Oh, oh, oh sorry. <laughs> I'm, tr I'm trying to find my descriptions. Um <laughs> So, <laughs> so in the in the uh, room up there, you see a fourteen foot tall obelisk uh, with what definitely has carvings, um, but you can't quite tell what it's carved with. Um, you also notice that there is a what appears to be a dead end down there, and uh, there is also here. I don't have it on this thing because I didn't expect you guys to come from this direction. A uh, <laughs> um, a door is is here. Okay. And then you would have also noticed this on your way in. And then with your dark vision, you can also start to see. And so all of the goblins over there have this table upturned. You can, mm -hmm. um, and they all have arrows, like bows drawn and trained over towards that cave exit. That's a good sign. Hey guys, what's going on? I kind of, uh, <laughs> I, I kind of just out. <laughs> zoned out while we were backtracking. Uh, <clears throat> what's going on? Uh, so Kalana snuck forward. Alone. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, because you guys noticed there were some goblins up ahead. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm gonna keep sneaking. Okay. Get up. Uh, roll me a stealth check. Okay. I do not think you get the plus 10 on this anymore. Because I, I believe don't. that is only within 30 feet of Ragnar. Is it? Oh, shit. Uh, um, do you want to check real quick? Or? Yeah. I think it's only a 30 foot range aura, basically. Yep. Nine. Nine. All right. Um,. Pretty much as soon as you start sneaking up here, one of them turns around 
ca having heard something. Yeah, but it can't see me. And then just kind of turns back. Okay. I was worried it might see me. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna fire three shots at him. We're gonna go for goblin three, four, and five. All right. Go ahead and roll me attack rolls. It worries me that you said three numbers that I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> I see the other three, but not those three. <laughs> so, first one is a 16. Hit. That's goblin number five. Um, hit. 12 piercing. Five. All right. Number four, I think, was the next one. Uh, that's also a hit. And eleven piercing. And then goblin number three. And then the last one gets an extra hit die as long as I hit it. Yeah, six, uh, twenty-six. And then that's 15. All right. I need everyone to roll initiative. Oh, now I roll high. <laughs> My whole turn's going to be spent running. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. I'm going to roll these guys as one group. That's the wrong type of dice. I almost rolled a d8 for their initiative. That's <laughs> fine. All right, 25 to 20. 22. Oh, come on. Something is up with the initiative tracker lately. There we go. All right, uh, 20 to 15. 16, one six. 15 to 10. Uh, so, uh, 18. I apologize. <laughs> Kalana, what's your initiative? Nine. Okay. First up is Ragnar. Ragnar's gonna be like, I wonder what's going on up there. Is that it? Um, I think I can just barely see. Goblin two. two. Yep. So yeah, I take a couple steps forward and be like, oh, that's what's going on up there. Firebolt. Bolt? Was that T with a T? Or yes. with ALL? -L? Firebolt. Okay. Roll a hit. That misses. Whizzes right by. That it? That's all. all right. Uh, goblin's turn. And it's basically going to come over here. And wondering why its friends are dead. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw it. Pew, 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 pew. Yep. Um, sees you guys, but not Kalana. <laughs> and shoots at uh, Truth with a, a short bow. For a 16 to hit. That's a miss. All right. And then. And the other ones are going to come up and do the same. With a 13 to hit. Oh, miss. Twenty two to hit. Uh, yeah, that's going to hit. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, three piercing damage. Oh, okay. Truth. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Let's see, uh... Uh, okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Hi, buddies! Uh, let's swing it with my scythe. Um, I'm gonna swing at, uh, let's see, the goblin one. Uh, and that is a 19 to hit. That's a hit. Okay. Right? Uh, yes, okay. It's alright. Uh, 11 damage. All right. Uh, You bring your scythe down on this goblin, and you feel a sudden surge from your weapon. You feel a little better, and the goblin turns to ash and scatters. All of its items, everything, just gone. Uh, Truth also looks very surprised. Uh, 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 Mm -hmm. okay. And I take a swing at the uh, second guy. Uh, oh, oh! oh shit. <laughs> Did he just cleave three of them with it? <laughs> uh, double dice? Does that apply to the... Uh, that applies the... to the D6. Okay. <laughs> uh, 18 damage. Again. <sighs> Dusted. Yeah, it's probably a good thing you can't see the look on my face right now. <laughs> uh, 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 You're just standing there in goblin dust. Huh. Well, I'm at full hit points now. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Uh, huh. And uh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Looking comp- I truth looks confused. All right, um, Brock. Uh, I, I don't know if I saw that from here, but <laughs> uh, gonna... yeah, you would have seen. You would have. You couldn't quite tell what exactly what happened, but you saw there were two goblin, three goblins, and suddenly there was one goblin. Oh. Huh. Well, I think the furthest I can move if I run diagonals is four squares. So, put me to right there. I don't uh, count diagnosis as extra movement. You don't? Sweet. No. So now you can clearly see that there are two piles of ash. Uh, A fine I'm gray that dust. Now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just going to ignore that for now. Uh, we're going to see if I can get this thing to actually work for once and... Pop, pop, pop. Shoot it with a pistol. Oh, dang. Oh, this might be really loud, by the way. <laughs> it's a direct type of... In a closed space. Okay. Hello. <laughs> it's, uh, mm. Okay, so double damage die, right? Yep. That's how that works. All right. Oh, well, it's only uh, 10. Okay, give me, give me just a second here. Um, I mean, that's enough. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> He's a goblin. Alright. Um... And they'll go here. Alright. Um... So, you've killed the goblin. And then... Just a few seconds late. Just within the few seconds, immediately. Um, yeah. Boop. There you are. Yeah. A, a door has Damn opened it. behind you guys, and some bugbears are coming in. Just look at it, clever girl. Um, Kalana. No. Because <laughs> I'm looking right at him. And oh, like, it's your, yeah, your favorite it's enemy. Like, <laughs> Yeah. Just yeah. No, she just yells at it, and uh, I'm gonna shoot. Uh, one I already put about one, then two. Okay. You want me to roll them at the same time? Yeah. Uh, roll one. Roll one at a time. Okay. So bugbear numero uno. 
25. That's a hit. And eight piercing. Okay. Bugbear two. Uh, 16. That's a hit. And, uh, 13 piercing. All right. That it? Yeah. They get hit by the arrows and look around wildly in surprise. Oh, thank God. Yes. <laughs> Ragnar. Oh, thank Jesus. <laughs> Oh, also now that the door is open. Launch a fire BLT. <laughs> Which one? Um, one. Okay. Hit. I would hope so. <laughs> Fire. All right. Is that it? Um. Yeah. I used all my movement to get where I is. Truth. You. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, thirteen. For what? To hit. With what? My side. Okay. There you, you just said. You were just like, you, dice. I didn't know what you oh. were doing. Um, that's a mess. Uh, well, I pull back and... Swing again. Oh! oh, oh, oh! Jesus. Boop, boop. <laughs> Wait, if he reduces it to ash, is there a healing power? Oh, two ones? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yep. Um, it is reduced to ash. Huh. Er hmm. No soft chewy center. That's good. All right. I just take a five step foot forward and just look at the other one. <laughs> <laughs> and kind of wield the scythe. All right. Um, Brock. I feel like if sanity checks were a thing in this system. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, I could just imagine that bugbear like, Steve, no. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Steve the bugbear. Alright. I guess we're just gonna... Pop on over here and pop him in the jaw. Pop, pop. It's a lot of dice. Uh, okay. Um... 25. That's a hit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Watch me get min damage. Oh, no. 11. All right. He is hurting. And then the other one. The other fist. Oh, Jesus. There's a lot of 20s in this what round. <laughs> There's a lot of 20s going on Where right did now. these come from? All right. This is making up for truth and me getting screwed a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, one. Okay. So, <laughs> nine. All right. Um... You first give him the quick uppercut, kind of stun him, and you bring your fist back around to the side, and just his jaw just sloughs clean off. How? Uh oh, uh oh, he's dead. How tall are bugbears? Uh, <laughs> about <laughs> six something. Okay, because with my height, I feel like I would have to like so do you again up in that guy's. <laughs> <laughs> kind of love that image though. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. I dismissed the sight. <laughs> Truth, did you know that did that? And my hands together. No. Uh, <laughs> I was not aware that it did that, no. Oh, I thought you had just learned a new trick. It, uh, yeah, yeah. 
Do you have to step Do you have to kill something with it for it to reduce or just touch them with it? Uh-huh. Like if you just cut them with the blade, do they re I mean, it hasn't every attack you've made been a killing blow essentially? Uh I I don't know. <laughs> I have well, no, no I idea. Had to hit you over twice. In other words, if I like tripped oh. and cut my foot or something on it, would I? Yeah, yeah, I hit one of the one of, hit one of the two headed guys twice. Yeah, and he oh, and he oh, didn't. I hit, I hit one of the two headed guys with it, and he didn't. He didn't. Uh, uh, right. did, disappear during the dust, whatever that was. There's okay. goblin dust on my feet. There, there <laughs> is. There's some goblin and bugbear dust in this room now. Um, yeah, well, I was literally right behind them when you yeah, yeah, just yeah. Hit them. Well, I didn't know. Again, I I didn't know I was going to do that. Um, well, no, I, I just yeah, you didn't know I was there either. So it was fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, There's what's still that? Dried blood on the back <laughs> of my head. Better than blood. Um, huh? this obelisk. Yeah, better than blood. Uh, yeah, okay, this, I'm gonna go over here. This obelisk oh, yeah. uh, is carved with a lidless eye near the top of. The side you're you're at, uh, the bottom half of the obelisk is covered in dirty, bloody handprints. Um, That's a good sign. Around the alcoves are a bunch of dirty bedrolls. Okay. Uh, I you guess I'll investigate the obelisk a little bit. What's I'm that? Keeping an eye, I'm keeping an eye on this cave entrance. Oh yeah, you should probably do that because all the goblins had their arrows trained on that hole. Oh. I should have mentioned that. Maybe I should go help him with that I'm when you guys are over those obelisks. Well, we don't know what this is. We're not smart. Okay, okay. I'll I'll investigate the obelisk. <laughs> you know how things work. Would you like me to roll your eye? Or... Uh, you're investigating. Yes. Um. How? Describe your investigation. He wants to know if I'm touching it. Okay. Yes, I do. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know I do. Uh, we're we're going we're gonna to start with step one here, because so far everything is... This is like Australia Cave, because everything's trying to kill me. So okay. I am going to use my wand of magic detection on it. All right. Um, you can reveal a faint aura of divination magic. Oh. Well, at least it seems better than most things we've dealt with. It appears to be divine energy coming off of this thing. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just kind of like... It, it, does it have like writing on it? It does not. Does not. Oh. Just the, just the, the eye that is carved on top. And then a bunch of dirty bloody handprints. Roughly goblin sized. Hmm. D does anybody want me to touch it? No. No. Maybe. No. I mean, I'm thinking. I don't know what uh, other than being divine. I don't know what else this thing does. Goblin for like, worshiping it. No. I mean, they're bloody handprints, though. Are I don't know. Bed rolls like for goblins or for adventurers? They're, they're definitely is, tiny sized, small sized. Is size. anyone here versed in religion to see if this eye means anything? Truth. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Hmm. Let's take a look. <laughs> I, I, t I take a look at the obelisk. Yeah. So this okay. is like some kind of goblin god. Roll me a religion to... check. Uh, oh. Five. <laughs> <laughs> That's an eyeball. Hey, hey! If you if you didn't notice, there is an eyeball on the obelisk. Okay. <laughs> that is probably of significance. Good observation. Okay. <laughs> so nothing? Yeah, I have no idea what this is. You want to throw a ball bearing at it? Sure. <laughs> Ping! Pink. <laughs> nothing. Yeah, maybe we should just... Well, we know it's real. I'll draw a picture of it, but... Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe oh, we should ooh. just leave it alone. Actually, speaking of your pictures, do... uh -huh. was that eyeball in anything? Oh, uh... It does not look familiar. No? Okay. No. no. So it was not in the, the map. Slips through some sketches, but kind of keeps it held back so you can't quite see them. <laughs> she shakes her head. Okay. No. Nope, not on the map either. Maybe it's a point that the mage is watching us through? 
I don't know. This is kind of his place, but I feel like his. Maybe we should just move his. on. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Seems unimportant. That. Yeah. Oh, oh, hey, were those goblins guarding yeah. something? Yeah, 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 they were watching first. They were had all their, their arm. Their Probably goes to bows a and arrows. Person. I kind Anything of walk away while looking at the map because I pulled it out. Uh, I'm like, hey guys, have we have we encountered a manacore yet? Because there's a manacore in here. A man <laughs> what? Oh, uh, I don't even know what that here? is. Here? It's like a lion thing with a scorpion tail and wings on here. In this level? Uh, yeah. It's right here. I like I lean over with a map. I'm like, right here. I point at the top level. Huh. Huh. Lion plus wings plus scorpion tail. Yep. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that's about. That sounds hmm. dangerous. Where are you I going? I probably shouldn't have. Uh, uh, I probably shouldn't have called it a manicure in game, but I, I don't know what it is. I might know what that is. I mean, I don't think any of us knew what it was anyway, so you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Big scary thing, monster. Oh. Are we so? It's yeah, more likely than you think. Were... Oh no! It's <laughs> huh? pretty clear that they were uh, worried about something down this cave. Yeah, they were worried about that. So should we avoid what the goblins were worried about, or? Um. Yeah, I feel like we can. Should we go to the left first, maybe? Or. Um. So sorry. There are three corpses here. Uh, two of which are <laughs> goblins. Um, one of which is headless. Huh. Uh, the other is... Let me find a good... Let me find a picture of it so I can describe it better. Rather than just yep. saying what it is. Um, it seems to be a snake-like creature. But oh. instead of a normal, like, snake head, it has a beak. And surrounding this beak are four long octopus-like tentacles. Oh, I know. Okay. I can, with barbs I can on the end it. of them. Yeah. Terrifying. Can't say I've encountered that in-game, but I know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> they super fun. Can we roll to... Can I roll to maybe see what... Is anyone trained in nature? I think nature's the... Uh, no. I'm gonna go with no on my part. Nope. I am not. Animal handling? <laughs> nope. Yeah. You handle it, it's limp. Yeah. <laughs> it is corpse. <laughs> yep, whatever it what... is. Whatever it is, it's an X one now. It's dead. <laughs> well, let's let's go the to the left. Let's maybe not the cave that the goblins were worried about. Okay. Yeah, that's 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 a fair I might stay here and keep an eye. I'll stay in the back, rather. I'll, uh, let me sneak forward. Okay. Yes. You, you sneak. I'm going to watch this cave mouth. With the limited vision I have. I believe in you, bro. Oh, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. 15. Anything? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah. You have no idea how much I really want to go poke that obelisk. <laughs> as I can be. Ragnar. Oh, hey. You yeah, guys, it just loops around. Oh, shit. Oh. You want to try the cave, or do we just want to get close enough to peer down it? I vote. We leave. That we what? You See, we leave? leave? This part of the dungeon. No. I don't know if there's Why? any parts we haven't been to yet. You seem to recall there is an entire path from a very central room that you never explored. 
That's what I'm trying yeah, to find. Yeah, the one right with now. the snake. Yep. I want the snake. All I mean... the way back here. So we can go the I snake can... route, I or we can go the, the shortcut that would Where? lead us back I'm not to that room. It. Oh, there. We technically wow. haven't explored either. Yeah, true. You guys yeah, technically haven't explored this. Truth. Well, yeah, what's up? What are you, what you doing? <laughs> Just poking my head down this. Uh, we're talking about backtracking quite a way, and there's a there's a little there's a little cave right here. Yeah, a fucking death cave. And where does it say? Why is it death cave? This one does not have certain death rates. Have you not been paying attention to this entire dungeon? <laughs> Listen, there's not going to be anything bad down we this tunnel. We are 10 tunnel. for 10 for Doom. Uh, I'm going to... Truth! I'm just going to let him go get himself killed. I'm staying here. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice knowing all of you. Nope. <laughs> It'll be fine. You're coming right, to right. Ragnar. I, I am, I'm going to actually... Uh... I'm going to be quiet here. <laughs> I'll stay yeah. here then, because I can't do that. <laughs> okay. Roll me a stealth check. All right, with disadvantage. <laughs> oh, you... Oh, okay. Maybe I will then. <laughs> uh, Is that just straight up? Oh, a uh, uh, nine. Do we have our pass without trace still? Yeah. Yeah, you still oh, have pass without trace. Okay. All right, 19. Okay. Okay. I and, guess I should probably try the same thing. And, <laughs> and I just poke around the corner. And you see two uh, the, the, of the of the corpse from earlier, but alive, uh, slithering uh, in here. They do not seem to notice you. Like the snakes? Yeah. And I, I just I poke back to the group. <laughs> the beaky, snaky thingy. Yep. All right, all right, that thing, that corpse scent, and I was near the table there in the other room. Yeah. There, there's two of them in there. Oh. All, all, and otherwise? they're not corpses. Important point, they're not corpses. Is it a dead end otherwise? Uh, No, it looked like it went around a the corner. There's more. Uh, mm. Okay, let's go. We, we try. Yeah. Or we could go back and do the whole other wing that we haven't explored. It didn't seem too tough. Yeah, my so, only worry is that you don't know, like, we'll go down to that wing and it's one room. See, maybe it's stairs. Yeah, maybe there's stairs down here. Who knows? No, 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 not down there. Truth, no. <laughs> no. I, just, I just keep Grab this scarf. Can't, oh, oh, can't oh. with you. Right, that's why I moved. So, are you gonna grab my scarf? Yes. Say... <laughs> an invisible force. Yes, an invisible. Force is there anything to the right? As All much right. as I want to avoid unnecessary f combat, a couple goblins did manage to kill one of those things. Ow. Yeah. yeah. I think there were like seven or eight goblins, though, shooting arrows. Yeah, yeah there I were like seven, seven or eight goblins by myself. Killed one. Alright, I'm just gonna Eldritch Blast both of them from here. I... Oh. Well, You're gonna what? I tried. Gonna... I'm gonna Eldridge blast both of them from here. All right, you will have to take a step out. All right, uh, I'm gonna summon my scythe first as well, just to just to have it out. Is there uh, more cave on the right, or is the wall just not appearing? Oh no, there's more cave. Oh, okay. Is he dragging me along? All right, <laughs> Eldridge blast. It's literally Rick like who? one. Uh, seventeen. Hit. If they can actually get in the square. Here we go. For six damage. Okay. And Eldridge blast the other one. Uh, 21. Hit. And uh, that's going to be also six damage. <laughs> hey. Roll initiatives. All right, cool. Nice. Yeah, I got about what I thought I would. Shit. <sighs> All right. Ooh. All right. Um, 25 to 20. 20 to 15. 19. Uh, 15 to 10. 
13. 10 to 5. 8. And what did you get, Brack? 1. All right. Truth, you're up first. Oh, dang. Uh, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Scythe time. Uh, <laughs> uh, 11. Miss. All right. Figured. Let's try that again. Hey, whoop uh... that, That's a hit. Uh, oh, God. Uh, 33 damage. Dust it. What the fuck? Is this his sight? Neat. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are easy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No problem. Anything else? That's it. Okay, because you still got your bonus action attack. Um, I'm not within range. I guess I could move up. Yeah, oh, you wait, still have no. movement. Boop, boop. I think that's still uh, Yeah. And I, I, I guess I just do my bonus action. Okay. Uh, what did you say about this one? Do I still get the uh, bonus to hit? Yeah, it's just uh, the damage has changed to piercing. Okay. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, that yeah, yeah. You still get your about, you still get your charisma to hit and to the damage. Oh okay. Yeah. So it's so it this is, is a plus four then. So yeah, okay. I don't hit. <laughs> <laughs> What's well, proficiency plus four? But yeah, that's still gonna be too low. Got it. All right. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why this is Ragnar. Oh god. Modifier. Right. The LT time. That's a hit. Um. And. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Ten fire. Okay. And that's gonna be it. All right. Kalana. I will move a little bit in and fire off three shots at it. I don't think it'll need that much, but we'll see. Uh, 24. Hit. Nine piercing. Alright. Second shot. Uh, 25. Hit. And 8 piercing. And, and it's dead. <laughs> and already a third one. <laughs> <laughs> and it's dead. And, okay. Oh. Uh, not that it matters right now, but I looked back at the chat and saw there's some bardic inspiration for Ragnar there, I guess. Yeah, he has it. Okay. Yep. Oh, okay. It's up on the uh, overlay now. Oh. Yeah. It's fancy. Yep. I haven't really had an opportunity to use it yet, but. <laughs> That's true. Uh, okay. Give me a sec here. Appreciate it regardless. Okay. That's what I thought. Why don't I, why don't I at least try to take a look around the corner first before we charge ahead? Alright, you know there's a All kid right. behind us too. Yeah. But it we're already in this hallway, so. I'm gonna try to sneak right. peek around the, the edge here. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I didn't I'm have that one as divide, divided as well. Hmm. Uh, it's more tunnel. Cool. Uh. Go on. Do, do, I want to. I want to check out this one first. Okay. More. Yeah, I think that's a good idea because uh, we don't want to risk something coming up behind them. Because that hasn't happened before. <laughs> Having trouble with the wall, there, Kalana. I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Are you sneaking truth, or do you want me to go? No, you you go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just making sure Ten. there. Roll me a stealth check. Do I still get past without a trace? Yep, you're within 30 feet of Ragnar. Whoop. <laughs> 18. Well, That's a good, good thing. thing. <laughs> yeah. I can't roll for shit. Okay. So, coming in this room, um, you notice that, um, In the southern corner, uh, which you can't quite see because I haven't revealed it yet, because I don't want to reveal it yet, uh, on the ceiling is an upside-down stone throne, upon which sits a mummified minotaur with gems embedded in its eyes Ooh, and a great axe at the foot of the throne. All of this is on the ceiling. Okay. On the floor uh, sleeps a very... Large Grick. I'm assuming Grick being the snake thingy. Yes. Sorry. Okay. I'm going to just back it up. <laughs> just... Okay. Come back. Alright. So, it... damn it, the wall. There, there is a very big snake in there. Like, yeah, very big. Like, and those troll things. Uh, how long do I think it was? Um, probably a good twenty feet long. Yeah. Okay. Maybe about the same size, about twenty feet long. Oh. And but there's no other. It didn't look like there were any other entrances or exits there. And there was also like a mummified minotaur sitting on a throne, but on the ceiling. Yeah. yeah. Wait. Wait. Uh -huh. Hold on. Uh, okay. All right. Wait, is so the manticore <laughs> thing you talked about? No, no, Minotaur. Cow person. Cow person. I've seen those before. I know what a Minotaur is. Yep. Mm, he had well. gems in his eyes. Oh, gems! Yo, you didn't say anything no. about gems. No, true. It's the ceiling. Uh, you can't reach up there. What? Oh wait, no. I can. I can try. Right. I have. A, I have a stool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn it. You. Yeah, but the snake is right underneath of it, and it's very big. And. I mean, if it's anything like those other snakes, they went down easy. It is twenty mm -hmm. feet long. I can take. How long are those ones? It's fine. Okay. We, we got this. All Let's right, go fight fine. the Graboid. Fuck it. Fine. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. I just want to see how this goes. Can, can I sneak up I on it? Try to get shot. I really want to sneak up on this thing. And then you're going to have to roll me some stealth checks. All can right. I... Yeah, I think we're all going to watch from like the, the mouth. All right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that what was dice. all that? Uh... <laughs> Hey, I mean, that's a, with Pass by the Trace, it's still a 20. 22, actually. Oh All right. 26, 27. Okay. Like ridiculous. Wait, no, it was like... Yeah, no, 26. Uh, I kind of motion for... Uh, who's giving us the bonus? Ragnar. Ragnar. Yeah, I kind of motion for him to, like, step forward a little bit. <laughs> Ragnar just shakes his head for a moment then. That's fine. 19. That's a 21 in attempt to sneak forward. All right. I want to ready a trick my bow to pin it. Uh, all right, I'm going to attack my side. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna, oh, okay. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to put him. I'm going to make sure he's squared. Are you getting there? Or are you gonna? Oh yeah, I, I would be back here then. Okay, because I have a ten foot reach. All right, I'm gonna sneak forward. But uh, I'm sure you attack with advantage. Okay, because it is unconscious. 
Yeah. But because you're not within five feet, you don't get the crit. Aw. Uh, a 20 <laughs> to hit. That's a hit. Uh, and I'm going to blow a smite on this as well. So. Okay. Boop. Um, what class are you boop, again? Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> not a wizard. I thought smite was a paladin thing. 35 damage. Jesus. Good God. Whack. All right. <laughs> It... as it uh, rears up and as it rears up it suddenly flips and floats to the ceiling 20 feet up that's why I wanted to shoot it oh uh, huh that's interesting <laughs> alright uh, initiative time oh okay Hmm. All right. Come on, high roller. That's not a high roller. It's better than your usual. Yeah, um, it's still single digits, but it's a high one. 25 to 20. Oh, I need to roll for 24. this thing. 24. Oh. All right. Um, 20 to 15. 15 to 10. Uh, 13. 10 to 5. Oof. Eight. All right. <laughs> Kalana, you go first. Oh, okay. So it's on the ceiling. Yep. Is it flying to be on the ceiling? Nope. It is on the ceiling. It's just there. Okay. Uh, fuck. Uh, I still want to try to want to try to tether it to something so that we can hit it without it moving. Ceiling. It's kind of like um, coiled around the throne. You know what? Just try to attach it to the throne then, and then we can just hit it from there. Um, so that's what I'm going to throw one of my charges on that and try to hit it and pin it to the throne. Woo! That's a hit. Uh, yeah, 28. Hey, uh, what kind of check is it again? It is. Uh, DC 15 dex. Okay, it failed. Yes. And then it takes uh, 10 radiant damage. Okay. And then my other two shots. 13. Uh, miss. Twenty uh two. Hit. Uh that's twenty four. Twenty four. Okay, it is not looking good. <laughs> uh that it? Yeah. Just kind of breathes right. for a second. It's turn, and even though it is bound, it can still reach um, truth. Oh. So, first, it's going to at attack with its tentacles for a 22 to hit. Well, that's going to hit. Twenty slashing damage. Oh. <laughs> Oof. Um, you are grappled. <laughs> All right. And now it gets, as a result of grappling you, it now gets to make two attacks with its beak. Oh boy. So uh, eighteen to hit. Uh, that that hits. Oh. 12 piercing damage. Oh, okay. You don't have any shield spells? Eight. <laughs> uh, eight oh, misses. Okay. Thank goodness. <laughs> Truth. I lied, he's tougher than he looks. 
Uh, <laughs> she knows shit. <laughs> Shove it down his throat. I swing with my scythe at him. Uh, you're oh. grappled. So, well, it doesn't matter. I say you have disadvantage. Uh, but oh. you can't roll lower than that. All right. Well, I get a second attack. So. <laughs> uh, hey, that's a twenty. That's a hit. Oh. Uh, these dice. Yeah, this one's. Uh, uh, twelve. And it is dusted. And I fall to the floor. And you fall to the floor. Now, you were only up, like, maybe two or three feet lifted. Because oh, okay. it was on the ceiling. And it was reaching down to attack you. Oh. Uh, Connor just uh, rains uh, on you. Over to him. <laughs> Truth Dump, bad all, all of the dust floats up to the ceiling. Oh. Huh. Oh. How bad does Truth look again? Pretty bad. <laughs> Shit, shit, shit. Yeah, she I just... Looked, like, I, just I looked... When I was grappled, I looked on the verge of passing out. Okay, yeah. Uh, cure wounds. <laughs> just, I mean, she just runs over him and throws her hands on him. <laughs> that thing is getting cure really wounds. handy. Uh, so... Uh, maybe 15. you have to sit down for cool. a minute. You get 15. Cool. Don't do that again. So why do you think it yeah, 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 floated yeah, yeah. and it didn't when it was asleep? That's a good question. It's a really good question. I have an answer. Wait, hold up. Do we want to take like an hour, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> before I before I attempt to um, remove those gems, <clears throat> just in case it triggers something. <clears throat> Yeah, I feel like having uh, a, of a sit down is a good idea. Yeah, All right. yeah I could use a sit down myself. <laughs> All right, so you guys are gonna go ahead and take a long rest. You can roll any hit dice. Uh, short rest. Short rest. Yeah. Short rest. That's what I meant. Derp. You can still roll hit dice during a short rest. <laughs> uh, so remember those with periaps of wound closure. Those are, uh, I think, doubled. The the number you roll is doubled. Is what it is. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But I've only down one point of health, so I'm not even going to bother wasting it. Fair. Uh, I pull up my stool and I sit down on it, <laughs> <laughs> and then I and then I heal. Let's spend some heal. All right. That was my hit dice. I'm just sitting next to him, making sure he doesn't go anywhere <laughs> or die. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Next cool. Surface cool. for getting a roll. Yeah, no, death. you almost died. That's fine. It's totally fine. <laughs> I didn't almost die. You. I almost passed out, but I didn't almost die. And if you would have passed out, it could have eaten you. You guys were here. You want to let that happen, right? I was trying not to. No. Okay. There's your there's your stool. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes. <laughs> How tall is this stool? <laughs> it's 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 like maybe uh, probably like three and a half ish feet. Oh, so you still gotta yeah. get a little bit higher. Um, oh yeah, it's it's a twenty foot room. Um, but with that, at your guys' long rest, that's a good pl or short rest. That is a good spot to go ahead and break for today. Um, we will pick oh. up. We will pick up here. In uh, you cut out there, buddy. Cut out. Pick up here in is all we heard. Sorry, uh, we will pick up here in two weeks. I will be out next weekend. Um, Aww. so, and, uh, we also may start at a later time starting, uh, in two weeks. Uh, that is, we need to have a discussion about that. So go ahead and please make sure you're on for a handful more minutes after we go ahead and cut the stream so we can chat right. about that. And then I will post anything to the place stuff. Um, stuff so and things. yeah, thanks guys for showing up. We're going to go ahead and start a raid on a channel with our few viewers that we have. I'm going to go send you guys to the Longest Johns, because I love those guys. Um, so, if anyone wants to... Right. I don't know what they're up to, but I see they're live, so I'm going to send you over there.